Hi, welcome to The Inner Way. I'm your host, Father David Smith. We've been looking at the uh, great spiritual classic, Unseen Warfare, for the past uh, few uh, programs. And I, I mentioned in last week's video that I would skip over uh, chapter 9 and go straight into chapter 10 because it's uh, one of my favorite chapters, and it just has a lot of really good advice and good direction for us as we seek to fulfill uh, the, the advice of chapter one, which is uh, as we aim for Christian perfection, we are aiming for union with God. Uh, chapter 10 offers us some advice as we make our way toward that goal. The uh, title of the chapter is How to Train One's Will to Have But One Ultimate Aim in All Things, Both External and Internal, to Please God. So the whole chapter, and it's a, it's a longer chapter, is about how to please God. As we make our way toward unity with God, one of the steps in that direction is how to please God. Now I'm going to go to the end of the chapter. In fact, I think we're gonna do two programs on chapter 10, but I'm going to go to the end of the chapter, the third paragraph from the end, and, and read that because it kind of has a really uh, a wonderful summary, if you will, of the direction that chapter 10 offers us. So this is that reading. None can fully conceive how great is the strength and power in our spiritual life of this motive and aim to please God. For even if some activity is in itself quite simple and unimportant, if it is done for the sole purpose of pleasing God and to his glory, it becomes in the eyes of God infinitely more valuable than many other great and glorious deeds performed without this aim. That particular paragraph speaks to me because I, I really like the idea of, of looking at the the small steps that I need to make in order to uh, live the spiritual life to the best of my ability. I'm not going to do great and marvelous things. I'm not going to be a mover and shaker in the Orthodox Church or in Christianity or anywhere. I, just like you, you and I, we're going to be, as it, it says here, uh, simple and unimportant. Uh, when I read those two words, I, I think sometimes, boy, that would be nice to have on my tombstone, Father David Smith, and have my dates, and then just simply simple and unimportant. But this is what this is saying, is you don't do the big things. Don't look ahead to, you know, I'm going to overcome sin and I'm never going to sin again. You don't do that. You say to yourself, I'm going to try to achieve today the little things that I can achieve. And maybe I'm going to be tempted four times, five times today, and 
maybe I'm going to overcome temptation just two of those times. But you know what? Those two times, as it says in Unseen Warfare, uh, if it is done for the sole purpose of pleasing God and to his glory, it becomes in the eyes of God valuable. God looks at those little things that we do and he rewards us for them. Or he looks upon us with favor. <coughs> I've had friends who have built great churches, uh, magnificent buildings, purchased expensive property, and done all of the work necessary to build magnificent structures. And sometimes in the process of that, they lose sight of glorifying God. And it just becomes another building project. The same thing as with any skyscraper we might see in a downtown city. This is, now that doesn't always happen. <laughs> there are a lot of times when people do magnificent things in the kingdom of God and they are done for the glory of God. But I'm not going to think about that. What I'm going to think about is trying to overcome temptation, is trying to love God, is trying to seek Him in pure prayer. That's what I'm going to do. And those little steps lead me more toward that goal of unity with God than any large-scale thing might do. Well, there's another uh, passage of uh, chapter 10 that I find uh, very, very moving. Uh, and I'll tell you why I'm using that word in our next program. Uh, and I'll look at that one. So we're gonna, we're gonna spend two programs on chapter 10. Uh, we'll do that next week. I hope that you can join us. And until then, God bless you, and I'll see you in church.